Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in tarot land. This is your girl Zingaya, the Zen Libran, and welcome to my channel, Journeys with the Narcissist. How is everyone today? I hope you're well. I hope your day has been peaceful. I hope you're out there looking good, you know, feeling good, acting right, pockets tight, because that's the way we like to rock it on my channel. Sending all of my viewers love and light. Well, you know me, the Zen Libra, and I'm Zen as usual. And I'm here for you guys to do a general collective reading for the zodiac sign of Taurus. Taurus the bull. That's this um, practical earth energy. Okay. Um, Taurus can be very stubborn very stubborn um, they procrastinate a lot um, their main focus is their resources um, they just in life is what they have you know they feel they've accomplished things by what they have what resources they have and they like to keep all their resources close to them so that they can look around and just you know just bask in their resources and just see how much they've accomplished. I mean, that's their motivation in life, okay? Um, a tourist can be lazy. Uh, once they've got everything they've accomplished, they tend to be lazy and stop having the drive that they had to get the things that they accomplished. But um, they go in spells, you know. Um, you, can't make a, you can't make a tourist move. Like I said, they're very stubborn. They're going to move when they want to move. But uh, when the bull is motivated to move, they move. They're very disciplined. They're very structured to accomplish the goals that they want to accomplish. Uh, if, if you're in a relationship with a Taurus, don't worry about money. Um, they're usually financially stable. They usually uh, are the providers in the relationship. That's something that you don't have to be worried about. Um, the Taurus is governed by Venus, so they are governed by the love planet. They love beautiful things, quality things, you know. Um, they love money, <laughs> you know. They love all the material things. But you want to be careful, Taurus, because anything that stimulates your five senses, you tend to overindulge in. So, take t you know, be careful because if you, you're drinking, you will overindulge in it. You know, um, you're tasting, you love good food so you can overindulge and, you know what I'm saying, and gain weight. Um, you can tend to overindulge in drugs. You can tend to overindulge in sex. I mean, anything that stimulates the five senses um, because it's earth energy, it's practical. Um, that is what the um, Taurus will tend to overindulge in. So watch yourself, Taurus that you won't pick up so many habits and addictions, okay? But that's my Taurus, you know what I'm saying? It takes a lot to get them riled up, but when you get them riled up, you need to get out the way because the bull is coming, okay? All right, good people, great to be along, get along with, I love them, that is my sister sign. Um, we're both, uh, I'm a Libra and a Taurus, we're governed by the same planet, so we have a lot in common, a lot in common. All right, that's my Taurus. All right, the get along gang. All right, all right. And of course, I pull from the feminine energy. The goddesses take stage, center stage here because we are the original rulers. And that's the problem that we're having with the narcissist because the narcissist wants to take our place. Um, these are men that want to be on Front Street, that actually want to be women. Um, they have more femininity in them than they do masculinity. Actually, they're unbalanced. Okay, um, and they want to be us, you know, um, so we don't have any any imposters on my channel. The real goddesses uh, show up on my on my stage, you know, and the feminine energy that I pull from today is my girl Morgan giving us the energy of rhythm. And I want to thank Morgan for being here, for honoring us with her presence and supplying us with her energy. We adore you, goddess. <clears throat> Nor Morgan here, she helps you with flow. You know, um, she helps you flow from one cycle to another. You know, she she uh, she uh, controls the transition. OK, so she's here to help a feminine transition from one um, cycle to another. And also um, 
she has high priestess energy, okay, very intuitive, and also she governs the dead. She brings, she helps the dead transition to the afterlife, you know. So someone needs to be careful when Morgan is around. If you're on some trickery, hey, she's here for a reason, okay, represented by the raven, okay, and we know about the ravens, okay, so, and the crow, <clears throat> so we know about the ravens and the crows, so, um, someone may be transitioning, um, to the afterlife, but she's definitely here to help this feminine, um, transition from the old cycle into a new, okay, and she delivers retribution, so if you're on some trickery, um, she delivers retribution. So watch out because she will take you to the afterlife if you deserve to be there. Okay? That's my girl giving us the energy of rhythm, the rhythm of life. That's my girl, Morgan. All right? And what they want us to focus on today is vitality. Vitality, your life source. Your reason for living, things that make you live, your energy, okay, that divine source right there, okay, your cells, uh, your body makeup, your makeup, the makeup of you, okay, they want us to focus on that today, all right, all right, what's going on out here for my tourists, huh, what's going on out here for my tourists, okay, all right, <clears throat> We got a feminine here. She's kind of in her feelings. You know, she's kind of like melancholy. Um, the universe wants her to know that balance is coming her way. Okay? She's been through a lot. Um, feeling like she's not enough because she's been through a struggle. Um, and um, she feels like uh, she's alone. She's alone. Um, she's been working on something. She's been doing something, putting her emotion and her heart into it. And it's just not panning out the way that she want, you know, but the universe wants her to know that if she feels impatient for something to happen or wary that, um, what she's wanting to accomplish, you know what I'm saying? What she's wanting to achieve isn't happening quickly enough. The universe wants her to take heart. You know, the universe is working with you, sweetheart, not against you, to bring you the dreams of your life. You know, even when times it feels like um, nothing seems to be happening, this is all a part of the creative uh, process, sweetheart. So get out your feelings. The universe is taking care of you, but things are going to happen in divine timing. There's so much going on behind scene, the scene that you don't know about. So uplift yourself. The universe has your back. Okay, you are enough. You are putting in enough. You are enough. You know, so don't feel that way. The universe is looking looking at you. Your soul family is looking at you and they're taking care of you. Just keep doing what you're doing and don't be emotional about it because it's happening for you. The universe is working behind the scenes, okay? Just keep it up doing what you're doing and balance is going to come your way. Okay? Balance is going to come your way. All right. <clears throat> She has this, um, um, it's like this, this couple, um, it's like this married couple, um, they're trying to steal her dreams from her. They're trying to steal her dreams from her. They're trying to betray her. They have a hidden agenda to betray her. Okay. I'm seeing a, a, a couple and a child. These people are thieves. They want to betray this feminine, okay? They are con artists, you know, and they have a hidden agenda. They want to betray this feminine. Um, I'm seeing a married couple with a son, probably. Um, I'm seeing a son may have some type of uh, disability, mental disability. Uh, the son may be autistic. Um, and the son is attached to the father, you know, the mother isn't really uh, involved. It seems like she's just worrying about how she looks or whatever. But the son is really attached to the father. I'm thinking the son is like autistic. But these are the people, this is the couple that wants to steal this dream from this feminine. I mean, it, it's crazy, you know. I mean, um, 
it's it's really it's really a uh, crazy but this feminine knows um she's choosing um whom she's allowing to get close to her you know in her energy you know and this particular person is crazy because it seems like he's like walking away with his with with his, with his kid with with his kid that's autistic, like he's walking away and like leaving this, uh, the feminine on the side. And he's coming towards this feminine here that we're speaking on, the energy that I'm pulling from. And um, he wants to marry this feminine, but she doesn't want to marry him. I mean, it's crazy. It's like he's taking his kid and he's leaving and he's coming towards this feminine to marry her, but she doesn't want to marry him. Okay, it's crazy. He's walked away from his partner. Okay, um, they're having the family disputes over there. Um, they could be losing their home. I mean, the spouse, the the couple here, the spouses here, they are a neck and neck. They're fighting all the time. Um, the home is broken. Okay, the home is totally broken, um, and unstable over there. Um, this particular uh, masculine found out that a child wasn't his. A child wasn't his. Now, I'm seeing one child that's, like, autistic. The child looks, um, I don't want to, hmm, it's not a teenager. Um, but it's a younger child um, that the masculine is taking with him. He's found out that the a child that's younger than the autistic child is not theirs. The little girl, the boy is his. The autistic one is his. Okay, and he also thought the little girl was his. He was spoiled the little girl and everything, and now he's finding out that the little girl isn't his. And this is the, the the dispute that they're having over there. This is why the home is broken over there, because he didn't found out that this little girl wasn't his. So he's taking his son and he's 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 leaving. Wow, he's taking his son and and he's leaving. A tower has happened over there because. Um, the feminine spouse, she has betrayed, um, her spouse and, um, she's, they're cheaters. They're cheaters over there. They're cheaters over there. They're thieves. They spies. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, they con orders, they liars. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is what this couple is. They do this to each other. And that's why a tower has happened in this home. I mean, this home is totally upside down. Um, because um, he was betrayed. He was betrayed and the little girl is not his. The little girl is not his. You know? And he wants to come to this feminine's house. But this feminine is not letting him come to her house. She's like, no, <laughs> he's got a lot going on in his life and she don't want to deal with it. So now he's taking action toward this feminine. He's taking action toward this feminine. Um, his spirit is, is the white horse there. It's pulling him toward this feminine, but he's taking his time on the physical, which is the black horse. You know, but he's going toward her. But on the physical, he's like taking his time. But his soul wants to run toward her, you know, because this masculine wants to live again. This masculine wants to live again. He wants to be in her energy because she gives him life. He wants to live again. He wants to engage in life and have a good time. He actually uh, feels that him and this feminine, they have a connection. They have a universal connection together. And he wants to talk to this feminine. He wants to communicate to this feminine. Um, he wants to ask her out on a date. He wants to take her out and have dinner and have a good time and talk to her and catch up and everything. And he's hoping when he comes to ask her that it's going to open a pathway, something is going to open up so they can flow. See, he wants to flow with this feminine. He wants to be in a partnership with this feminine. This could be someone that has dreads. Um, he wants to be in a partnership with her. He wants a new beginning with her. And he wants them to mesh. She wants them to flow um, together, you know. But um, she's not, I don't, you know. Um, he's hoping that when he asks her out on his date that everything is just going to flow easily because he wants a new beginning with her. You know, he wants a new beginning with her. He hopes that when he asks her to go out on his date, that things will change and it will open up a pathway so they can flow. And um, 
get into a partnership because he's out of there. Um, he's took his son who has a, uh, mental disability, autism. I love autistic kids. Um, I love autistic kids. Um, but, um, uh, he's leaving because the daughter isn't his. I mean, you know, I hate that, you know, but, um, he wants to marry this feminine, but this feminine is not going to marry him. You know, this masculine, he didn't communicate effectively to this, um, this feminine, um, he failed to communicate his true feelings to this feminine, you know, so this feminine, she's, she's moving on up in life, you know, um, her pathway is going to change, it's changing, uh, quickly, it's changing quickly, and she's going to be going on the up and up, she's going to, her, her pathway is going to be going on the up and up, and that's where she's headed, and she feels that this masculine wants to betray her, you know, um, but she's not dealing with it because she's just going to deal with what she's dealing with for as, um, working on her goals that she's been working on and she's been kind of impatient because things are not working out. They're not speeding up. She's been at this for a while, you know, um, but, uh, that's what she's working on. But the universe wants her to just keep on working. The universe has your back. You know what I'm saying? And this masculine, he wants to speak to her. He wants to take her out. You know what I'm saying? He's done left his family over there because he was uh, betrayed, uh, cheated on, you know. And um, he wants to communicate to this feminine, but she has him blocked. She has him blocked on her social media. She has him blocked on her phone. She has him blocked from her energy. She doesn't want anything to do with him because she's ending that cycle and going to the next. And Morgan is here to help her do it because this is the rhythm of life. Out with the old and in with the new. She's transitioning. She's transitioning. And the road she headed on is up. And, it, and, and she's changing directions quickly. It's happening for her quickly. It could be happening for her now. You know, uh, she's going to rise. She's going to be, I'm feeling some type of celebrity or something. She's going to be on the up and up. Okay. All right, that's what's going on. Okay, let's see what the universe has to say about what's going on with my Taurus. What's going on with my Taurus? Yeah, this masculine. He was taking his, taking his time, being stubborn and didn't come toward this feminine, you know, but now he wants to live again and he's taking action. You know, to go toward this feminine. He's uh, building up his confidence to speak to her. Uh, he feels that they have a, a universal connection. And he wants to ask her out on a date. Um, he wants to live again. He wants to engage in life. This feminine gives him energy. She makes him feel young. She makes him laugh. You know, he just loves being in her energy. And he are, he's open that by him asking her on this date... Um, he hoped that this would change and open up a pathway for them, you know. But this feminine, she's very cautious about who she's letting in her energy. And this masculine wants to marry this feminine, but she's not going to marry him. She's not going to marry him because he uh, didn't communicate effectively his feelings for her, you know. And he can't do it now because it's too late. She has him blocked, you know. He's been betrayed by his spouse. And he's taking his son and he's leaving. And the little girl isn't his. Wow. Mm. It'd be going down, don't it? You know what I'm saying? See what these journeys we go through with these narcissists? It'd be going down. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm -mm. He wants to be in this feminine's energy. You know, this feminine is... She's a... Uh, disciplining herself you know she's out here with that Taurus energy accomplishing her goal and she's keeping at it until it's accomplished it's taking her a while longer than she hoped and she's getting frustrated but the divine is telling her to baby keep at it I mean we got you you know we got you okay all right let's see what's going on out here in the universe for the Taurus this feminine is totally concentrating on her resources 
now. She's concentrating on the bag. She's not worrying about her love life. You know, this is something that she doesn't want to do right now. Love is the, the last thing on her mind. You know, she got something that she's accomplishing, something that she's doing that she really cares about, and she's putting her heart into it. And this is what she's focusing on, okay? While this masculine is over there, he's leaving his family, and he's coming toward her because I hear him's like this bitch. You know what I'm saying? He talking about his wife had him over there taking care of a child that wasn't even his. You hear what I'm saying? So he's taking his son that he has by her, and he's leaving, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone thought that they defeated someone, but they didn't defeat you. You won the battle. You won the battle. Okay? Someone has won the battle. Someone did not get defeated. They won. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. All right? All right, guys. Give me a few seconds. Let me look at the cards and get the downloads from the universe. And I will definitely break the message down for my Taurus. Give me a few seconds, guys. Yeah, we got this mask on here. Um, you got this mask on here that feels he doesn't have a life. Okay? That he doesn't have a life. Um, all he have is um, sex with his spouse over there. And um, he's not getting wish for his wishes fulfilled with her. And then she's not the person that he wants to be with, you know. She's not his wish fulfillment. This is his wish fulfillment. This pretty woman with locks in her hair. This is who he wants to flow with, you know. Um, the feminine that he's with now is just passion, you know. Um, it was just sex, you know what I'm saying. It wasn't no life. It wasn't no basis of life, you know what I'm saying. And now he wants to, he wants that. He wants that now, and he feels that he could have it with this star, with this Queen of Pentacles, this Queen of Coins energy. He feels he can live again with her. Um, he's not living, you know, over there with this, uh, this feminine that he's with. It's just sex. It's just sex. He's not getting his wishes fulfilled, and, and she's not his wish fulfillment. He's even not having sex with her anymore. He's not having sex with her anymore. You know, she's been exposed for the person. He has her blocked. I mean, he's fighting her off. You know what I'm saying? He's fighting her off. Um, she's been exposed for what she is. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this person that he's with, they do have a child together. This is his child's mother. Okay? And he has no passion for her at all anymore. And she's, like, going into a blind rage. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's armed over there. And she may be um, stabbed this mas masculine, hurt this masculine in some type of way. She pulled a weapon on him. She maybe pulled a knife on him and um, <clears throat> came at him to hurt him. Or she maybe did hurt this masculine because she don't want her heart to be broken. She don't want her heart to be broken because she knows that he's regretting um, not being with this uh, this star here, not being with this Queen of Coins energy. Um, he wants to work with her. He wants to work with her for us, create things. He wants to uh, work on a foundation with her. He wants them to work on getting a bag together. You know what I'm saying? Um, he don't want to be in this partnership with this uh, mentally disturbed uh, woman anymore. You know what I'm saying? He's not giving her any money anymore, and she hates that. She hates that. He's not giving any more money to her. She could be a Libra or have Libra in her chart. You know what I'm saying? She's not getting no wishes fulfilled. She's mentally disturbed, and he's not taking care of her, giving her money anymore. He don't want to be in this partnership with her anymore. He wants to work on it with his Queen of Coins energy. He wants to work on stability with her. You know, he sees her creating he sees her uh, out here creating her project, doing what she's doing, and she's created a comfortable environment for herself. You know, she's worked hard. 
you know, and now everything that she's worked for is is, is turning to pass. Um, she's been in this Taurus energy, disciplined, structured, you know what I'm saying, and uh, just been doing it, you know what I'm saying, and now she's... Uh, The fruits of her labor is paying off now. She's created a, a great environment for herself, of her home, her pockets is right. You know what I'm saying? She's around her flowers and her plants, and he wants a happy life with her. And this feminine knows it because she's intuitive. She's a young girl. She's a young girl, but she's very intuitive. And she knows that he wants to be with this star over here. She knows he wants to be with this queen of coins. He wants to marry this queen of coins because he feels he has no life. He has no life. And then <clears throat> the person that he's with, they over there doing candle magic. You know what I'm saying? Just straight, just non-living over there. Just deadhead people, you know, uh, into all the dark arts and all that stuff. And he's not getting this. He's This is not fulfilling for him anymore. And he wants to go because he wants to live again. And he don't want to be with her anyway because they got two kids. The boy is his. The one that is autistic, I'm thinking. And the little girl is not his and he's found out. And that's why Tower has happened over there. He's probably moved out of the house and wants to come to this feminist house. You know, there are estranged spouses over there. They're having disputes, broken home and everything. You know, if they got teenagers over there, the teenagers are acting out. You know what I'm saying? She's over there abusing the children because they're going through it. You know, it's just a lot going on over there. And he sees her for what she is now. He sees her for what she is now. And he don't have no passion for her. He wants to have a ten of cups with this queen of coins, nine of coins energy. This is what he wants. And this young lady that he's married to, she knows it. She just don't want her heart broken. And she's tired of him thinking about her. And I think she she pulled a knife on him. She's going to pull a knife on him. But she's probably already stabbed him. But, um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. She uh, manipulated him and she stabbed him in the back, y'all. This is what she did, y'all. Wow, because he's leaving, and he wants to take his son with him, and he's not giving her money anymore. He's not taking care of her anymore. You know what I'm saying? He cut out financially, and he cut the D off, and he's headed toward this divine feminine. Wow, and this divine feminine is straight up in her Taurus energy. You know, she's getting her pinnacle. She's getting her money. It's all about her bread. And he's watching her. And he's like, look at her. Look at what she's doing. Look at, I can't believe this. Uh, he's 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 marveling at her. You know what I'm saying? And actually, she's giving him inspiration. And he wants to work with her. He figured they could have a, a structured life, a beneficial life. This will be a beneficial life for him. Because he's just getting sex over there and it's not beneficial. And they doing candle magic, and she doing all type of magic to keep him, you know, binded toward her. Look at her. This is how she want him toward her. Look at her putting candle magic on him, y'all. Man, he's with a narcissist. See, I tell you, women are narcissists, too. 20% of women are narcissists, 80% of men. And um, he's not having sex with her, so she's not able to put the magic on him anymore. I mean, it's just crazy. But she's been figured out, and um, this masculine needs to watch out. I mean, I don't know if she's already done it, but she's planning on um, hurting him, probably pulling a knife on him because she's tired of him sitting around thinking about this uh, queen of coins over here, thinking about uh, how he didn't appreciate what he had when he had it while she's over there loving him, loving him and she don't want her heart broken. So she wants to harm him. She wants to... She probably pulled a knife on him or something, y'all. That's probably what happened over there, you know. But she's out for blood because she don't want her heart broken. Man. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Well, this is what's going on for my Taurus, y'all. Man, if you feel anybody could benefit from this, please send it to them. I mean, protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, these narcissists don't get their way, man or woman. They will... Uh, lash out on the physical. They will come at you physically, especially when they're uh, <clears throat> binding spells, sex magic and stuff is not working anymore. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, they don't know what to do. They can't control you mentally. They will try to do it physically. So masculine, you need to watch out if you're looking for this, looking at this, whomever this masculine I'm pulling from. She's been exposed. You know how she is. You don't have no passion for her, so watch your back because she's planning on doing something to you, okay? All right, y'all. This is for my Taurus, y'all. You know, man, he's leaving. He's leaving on that midnight train to Georgia, y'all. <laughs> he want to live again. He's tired of this. And um, she doesn't complete him. All right? All right. Well, this is what I have for you, Taurus. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all next reading as I always end it. Know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.